Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the little bit of echo that we have going on here. Today we are doing December's BoxyCharm unboxing and this month is a big month because this is the first time that I'm not only getting my BoxyCharm regular box but I'm also getting my BoxyCharm premium box. I'm in my bathroom because this month's box is very very targeted towards skincare and moisturizing because we are starting to get in colder months and um, the skin tends to get a lot drier but if you guys are unaware I did move outside of Florida I no longer live in swampland now I live somewhere a lot colder and a lot drier especially during the winter and it's gonna be my first time in like maybe 12 years experiencing this kind of a winter and um, my skin isn't ready for it, my hair isn't ready for it, but we're going to make it work. So I am grateful that BoxyCharm did think about the colder months and supplying items that will be awesome to keep the skin moisturized and supple because moisturized skin is young skin. If you don't moisturize your skin, that is how you tend to get early signs of aging because the skin starts getting so dry that fine lines start forming so on and so forth. Keep the skin moisturized, that is my tip for you guys. But anyways, we're in the bathroom because like I said, we have a lot of skincare products and I don't know how I'm gonna really gonna do this because I have my Boxy Lux box, which comes with, I think, eight to 10 full-size items. Then I have my Boxy Charm Premium box that I just signed up for, which comes with six to seven full-size items. And also, make sure that if you do sign up for BoxyCharm, that you guys use my link or go to BoxyCharm.com and don't like Google BoxyCharm and go on any other like website because there is some fake BoxyCharm websites out there that are trying to scam people. So if you use my link down below and sign up for BoxyCharm this month, you will be receiving a free Tarte eyeshadow palette that looks like this before we jump into this video if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel make sure you guys do hit the red subscribe button down below so that way you guys don't miss out on any new videos that I post and if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up so that way I know what videos to film for you guys in the future and without further ado let's zoom on in and jump right into our boxy charm unboxing all right guys, I really don't know how I'm gonna do this because I have to go to my sink to show you guys some products. And um, we are gonna, we're not gonna do the video in here the whole time, just so you guys know. The makeup portion, I am gonna do. And I just set up a little film space in my in the apartment. So I'm super happy that I finally have that. So, boxy charm. You guys ready for this? Look at how big these boxes are. They are ginormous. I did get my Boxy Lux first. I got this one last week. And then this is my Boxy Charm Premium that I just got yesterday. I was waiting for that one to come in before filming. But you guys can see how huge these boxes are. You guys can see the size comparison. Obviously, Lux is bigger because we get more products in there. We're going to actually start off with the Lux box. That's where most of my skincare items are. I think in my Premium box, I only got one. And I got two. I'm going to start off with a Z-Boxy Charm. Ooh, girl. This month's theme is Boxy Charm onesie. First item in this month's box is this hair wrap right here. So, you guys are probably wondering, what is a hair wrap? So this is basically like a wrap towel. I actually already own one of these. I'm gonna open this one up um, to see what this one is like. This retails for $18. It helps to reduce frizz and maintain healthier hair by cutting the time of blow drying and heat exposure, which ultimately reduces split, the risk of split ends and excessive damage. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take this out. So like I said, retails for $18. This is a pink towel. You guys know how I feel about the color pink. I don't really care for it. This one's actually different than the one I have because this one has this stretchy part here. The one I have is um, a lot different. I don't know where it's at, so that's why I'm not showing you guys. And then it has the button up here in the front. So what we do with it, so after you get out the shower, let's take off the kitty ears real quick just to show you guys. But the reason why this is good, because it is microfiber, it's a microfiber towel. 
instead of a regular towel. So microfiber is going to be better for the hair because it's not going to cause uh, frizz or friction. It's not going to like roughen up the cuticle, which is what causes the frizz. That's what a regular towel would do. So you apply it like this, or you put it on like this, looking like a little baby. And then you can tuck it behind the ears if you want to or not. We have the tail right here. What I like to do is, oh, I'm actually doing this wrong. I'm not doing it the way that they want me to do it. Okay. I'm doing it backwards. Mine is, like I said, mine is different. My button is in the back. So this is how you do it. Okay. Take two. All right. So we take our hair. Let's put it upside down like this because this is how we have to do it. Okay. Now this goes on the back here. I don't know if I'm in, in the picture. So let's hope that we are. And then we take all of our hair and shove it in there. Uh, it's kind of hard because my hair is dry. With wet hair, it's a lot easier. Then what we do is we take this. Okay. Looking crazy. We're going to twist, 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 twist. Going to fold and then, aha. Uh -huh. In here, guys, we're learning together here. In here, there's this little part here. After you twist it, you're going to take it. Button back here, hook it into there. Oh, take three. <laughs> Twist. Grab the loop, button, hook it on, make sure it's securely on there. And bam, there we go. Three tries, but we got it. So this is what it looks like. This is what you do after you get out of the shower. And it'll help to reduce the drying time. Something I like doing too, because I have curly hair, is I actually use this to plop my hair with. If you guys don't know what plopping is, look it up. It's a method of like styling your curls. Um, but yeah, this is gonna help. And because it's microfiber, we're not gonna get that frizz. So this is what we look like right here. And all right, so even though my hair is dry already, we're gonna just keep it on just to keep my hair out of my face. So that way we can start with our skincare. Next product in this month's box is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. So this, so this is a gentle, a gel face cleanser for all skin types. It has a coat following for the way that it removes makeup. I obviously don't have makeup on. I am gonna try it on, try it, try it out maybe tonight, and I'll let you guys know how that works. Maybe I might film myself, maybe I might not, we'll see. But um, but it helps to remove makeup, even mascara, without drying for soft, supple skin. And it's made with amino acid rich soy protein, common cucumber extract, and balancing rose water. If you have sensitive skin, it also soothes and tones. So this retails for $48. So that's almost the price of the box itself. I think I've used this cleanser before in the past. It does smell really good. It has like a nice light cucumber scent. So let's go ahead and move over to our sink, which I'm right next to. Alrighty, so here we are at my sink. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face first. Taking the cleanser. That's what the cleanser looks like. And this is sulfate free. Oh man, it smells like straight up cucumber. Okay, so my skin is nice and clean. It does actually feel really supple. Like, I know there's a big difference. My skin felt very dry before washing my face, and now it feels really soft and supple and just juicy. And if you are gonna use a towel to dry your face, make sure that you always pat the water into the skin. Do not rub, because you're gonna cause fine lines and wrinkles that you do not need. Alrighty, so we didn't get a toner in this month's box, but last month in my premium box, I got the Kapari Coconut Rose Toner. So this is a product that I've used before in the past and I love this stuff. It smells so good. Um, it does not smell like coconut or rose at all. It just has this really soft smell to it. It's cruelty free, paraben free. Next product, again, didn't come in this boxy charm. This was in June's Boxy Looks. This is from Glow Recipe, the Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. We're gonna take a few drops of that right there. 
and this we're going to press into the skin and don't forget about your neck so next we're going to jump into our boxy charm premium two moisturizers that came in this month's box one is for nighttime use one is for daytime use but we're going to use both of them anyways because we can so the first one is also from glow recipe which is the reason why i wanted to use the serum this is the watermelon pink juice moisturizer it's 60 millimeters which i milliliters which i think is two fluid ounces so you get two ounces 39 dollars 90 percent of this silky moisturizer is spiked with vitamin c and amino acid rich watermelon extract plumping hyaluronic acid and soothing botanicals like peony and jasmine extracts this cooling gel emulsion emulsion absorbs instantly to seal in hydration and prep the skin for the day ahead antioxidants guard the skin against free radicals and repair damaged cells along the way used morning and night it drenches skin in luscious long-lasting moisture $39 gonna take one pump of this that is what it looks like right there our little glow recipe I hate watermelon so much watermelon juice is really good for the skin and just like the pineapple um, stuff the pineapple actually smells like pineapple like it's very intense but pineapple is really good for brightening the skin it is made with real watermelon juice so it's very lightweight moisturizer I would say it's really good for oily combination skin tone skin even dry I mean normal skin can use it if you have dry skin I would probably recommend pairing this with something else like an oil and then this is the hyaluron avant hyaluronic vitamin c I don't really know what it is but it's uh supreme hyaluronic acid this is an anti-aging moisturizer that you can oh actually can use this morning and night so this says to use after cleansing and applying your serum this guy here actually retails for 134 dollars i don't know if it's this size that retails for that let me look at it look up look it up hold on because that's a lot of money for one little tiny tube but i'm going to tell you the benefits of it so you guys know why it's so much it's going to be a long video guys so so i'm going to check that up check into that in a little bit but i think it is true so this guy right here this is a deluxe hyaluronic acid vivifying face and eye night cream even though it says i use morning and night so i think i got the wrong product to be honest because the one that they're talking about is not this one the one that they're talking about is black but it's a delightful anti-aging moisturizer for face and targeted eye area formulated with hyaluronic acid to deeply nourish your skin it also combines signature ingredients to improve the appearance of enlarged pores on even skin tone fine lines dullness dullness and a weakened skin surface so i don't know if this is the same thing that this is talking about i don't know i'm trying to pull it up but it's not working because this one says use day and night that one only says day this one doesn't even say anything about eye cream it just says in the front supreme hyaluronic acid antioxidizing dual moisturizer so i feel like this is a different product than what i was supposed to get i don't know but we're going to use this anyway it smells familiar it smells like something i've used before i don't know what it is it's like a mask i don't know anyways going back into our boxy luxe box next product right here product that i got to choose this is the elemis pro collagen face oil so the face rolls oil so this is what it looks like right here little guy right here it is half a fluid ounce this guy here retails for 79 dollars. it's a luxurious lightweight facial oil oil infused with precious trio of rolls extracts to help smooth the look of fine lines and wrinkles leaving the skin with a luminous glow so all about that glow we're going to take three little drops of that right there one you guys see that two three it does have a pretty strong smell lms products tend to have strong smells so just be warned so i'm going to take that press it onto the skin but i've been used i used this twice already and i didn't break out with the other lms cream that we got one time for boxy looks i think it was last december that i got that one um that thing it was the the pro collagen marine whatever 
that thing broke me out so bad, like after the first day. And it kept breaking me out and making things worse. This, I've noticed that my skin has looked very dewy and healthy. So I really like it so far. Next product is another one from Common Dex. This was another choice. So you got to choose between either this face oil here or the Sunday, I think it's called Sunday morning, no, Saturday morning um, water cream, which I did kind of want both, but I ended up just getting the um, oil because I have a bunch of moisturizers. Um, but I would like to try that brand because I've never tried it before. And then the other option that I had was either this face royal roller, which I'm obsessed with face roll rollers, or a lip cream. So this is what the face roller looks like. I think Tati has used this one before. So this is it. You either get uh, red or purple, which I like both colors. So I'm happy with either way. And then what you do just roll that onto the skin. So I personally like to start with the forehead and roll in one direction. I don't like going back and forth because I feel like that tugs on the skin. I'm obsessed with like the opal rollers and stuff. Roll upwards and kind of off to the side. That's gonna have to deep help the skin and up on the neck. This retails for $69. It is gonna help to improve visibility of fine lines and enhance skin texture and uplift fatigued skin. Next product, I'll do a lot of skincare this month. This is from Bite Beauty. This is the Agave Lip Mask. We are gonna use this during the daytime because I did use it last night just because I wanted to see what it would, how it would work. I don't really know how I feel about it yet. I really like the Laneige Sleeping Mask, um, but this is the Bite Beauty Agave. A deeply hydrating overnight lip mask. Game changing balm to oil formula for nourished and supple lips overnight. This lip therapy is clean, vegan, cruelty free, and gluten free, infused with our chamomile bergamot dream scent. Does have a nice smell to it. It is $22. Comes with a little spatula right there so that you don't have to use your don't have to use your fingers to dip into it. And I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of that. It's a little tiny bit too much. That's all you need. You can see that? Very little bit. You can put the little spatula back on top right here so you don't lose it. Close that. This comes with half an ounce for 22 bucks. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. So then let's go ahead and take this off. One more product that we're gonna use back into our Boxy Lux. This is the M Grass Dry Oil Spray Beach Air. So I at first thought this was a texturizing spray, which I was like, crap, I don't want any hair products. But this is actually a fast absorbing multi-purpose dry oil spray, which basically a dry oil spray is just, it's a, still an oil, but it's just gonna be um, not as greasy. It absorbs better into the skin. So this is formulated with a blend of high quality oils that quickly penetrate delivering superior moisture, leaving the skin soft and luminous without feeling greasy. You can layer it with their hand and body for, an ex for extra moisture. This retails for $36 and um, the smell is beach air, just so you know that's what they were referring to. So what I like to do, it gives you directions so you can spray and massage the oil directly onto the skin like so. So this is what it looks like. And then we could just rub it into the skin. You guys see the difference? See that nice pretty glow that it gave me? Well, this is looking kind of flat. You can also spray for the hair, you can spray it onto the palm of your hands and then you can rub it through your tips. So. You can also use it for the face. So again, you spray it onto your hand and just press it into the skin. There we go. Now we're looking super dewy, super luminous. I really like this stuff. My husband loves how this smells and it does smell really nice. It has a really fresh, clean smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the rest of this video, doing the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my eyebrows and then we're gonna jump in to the rest of the makeup. So let's go ahead and jump into the next room. Alrighty guys, so um, I'm here with my eyebrows done. Um, they actually need to be done so badly, but we clean them up, carve them out. 
So we're gonna jump into the next thing. This is so hard, guys, because these boxes are ginormous. So the next product and the boxy lux box is this eyeshadow palette from Storybook Cosmetics. I have it upside down. You guys can see what it looks like. This is it right here. And this is the Little Briar Rose. So this is what it looks like in the inside. It has a mirror here, which I have the protective sheet still on it, just to not blind you guys. But you guys can see the gorgeous colors in this palette. It is actually a lot prettier in person than it was in pictures. And it's really cool because you can store it like this as a book. It even has like fake pages right here. And I actually do have a palette from them. It's the Mean Girls palette. So I might put those two next to each other. You have your three like blues right here. So you have dark blue, your medium blue, and your light blue. That's almost like a silvery blue. And then the rest of them are very neutrals. They're like pinkier colors. I just think that it's a very usable palette. And then this one retails for $55. It is cruelty free long wearing you can use them wet or dry and you can mix and match to concepts your favorite story your favorite spell binding look i'm just gonna put it back here for right now because my boxy charm premium i also got an eyeshadow palette that we're not going to use and i'll tell you guys why in a second but just to show you guys what it is so this is the dose of colors hidden treasure eyeshadow palette and i do have a video where i did use this palette before so if you guys are curious on it oh crap this is what it looks like. So I used to own this eyeshadow palette. I used it one time. This is again, one of those eyeshadow palettes that just doesn't work for my skin tone because you have uh, neutral shades right here that for me were just way too light. You do have your darker shades here and then there's a bunch of shimmers. So this is like your basic like everyday eyeshadow palette, do a classic glam look. It just really isn't for me. Um, I've used it before. And it's not that I, I hated it. I just felt like the colors didn't work out well for me. This one retails for $50. So this is more than the premium box itself. Um, I don't know if this palette is still like available because I know it was limited edition when I bought it. I bought it for super cheap on Ulta and I ended up selling it on Poshmark because I just didn't care for the palette, but it is a really gorgeous palette. Don't get me wrong, the formula of it, from what I remember, was really, really nice. But we're not going to use this one today. We're going to use the other eyeshadow palette. I just wanted to share with you guys that I did get this eyeshadow palette in my BoxyCharm Premium. So anyways, enough of me rambling on. We're going to zoom in a little closer so that we can do the eye look using the Little Briar Rose eyeshadow palette.
eyes. I haven't done a look like this in a really long time, so I don't really know how I feel about it. I don't know if maybe it was the eyeshadow that I used or what it was, but um, before I do my face makeup, there is another product in the Boxy Premium, and that is this eyeliner right here from Kat Von D. This is the Cake Pencil Liner. So this one is in the color Trooper Black. I don't know if it's focusing right there. This one retails, I think, for $20, $19. It is um, unprecedented creaminess, intensely rich color, and budge-resistant, waterproof, long wear. So we're going to go ahead and line our eyes really quick. I zoomed you guys on in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. And we're going to go ahead and take the eyeliner. And we're going to go ahead and line the eyes with it. Wow, this is so creamy. And I did it kind of messy because I'm going to take the JH43 from the um, Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe collection. And I'm going to go back into this Prince color right here. I'm going to take a little bit of that on the tip of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that right on top of that black. This is going to intensify this blue so that it is super rich and cream and uh, vibrant. The other eye, finish my face, and I'll be right back. So now that I put on my like um, foundation and contour and stuff, the eye look isn't looking that bad. We'll talk about that later though. We're going to jump into the last few products, which are from the Boxy Luxe. So um, this is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey do dreamer illuminating drop and this is in the shade gilded honey and this was actually something that i redeemed with my boxy charm points so this is something that just so happened to come around the same time as my boxy charm boxes but it didn't come in them so i just wanted to point that out but this did come in here this is the ciate confetti highlighter in the shade confetti and ended up receiving this highlighter in both boxes. So this is what it looks like in the inside. I did kind of dent it a little bit, so don't mind that. But you guys can see, like, it's like these little marbleized, pearlized little highlighters that's all um, jammed in there. This retails for $32. It's going to give you a sun-kissed glow. It's featuring a mix of shades that have been carefully pressed together for a radiant swipe and radiant glow in one swipe. So I'm going to just take a drop and then I'm going to use that kind of as the base of my highlighter. So I'm going to apply it with my finger and then put that right on top. So this is going to give you a really light fresh glow, like that lit from within glow. You can also mix this into your um, foundation as well. And then we're going to go into the Ciate Confetti Highlighter. This is the Jaclyn Hill J02 brush from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Um, I did do a video on this, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on the high points of my cheek. This is really gorgeous. It's definitely a really nice, like, everyday highlighter. I don't know if you guys can see. I kind of moved back a little bit there. It's like a really pretty, like, golden champagne color. Before I put on my mascara, we're going to go into the second to last product in our boxy luxe just so you guys know we did use all the products from boxy premium already so this is the power up dual setting spray so this retails for 32 dollars. it's an energizing face mist that's a pick me up that you need through the day and night it's by a special by phase formula instantly activates and transforms as you shake get ready to power up formulated with their even autumn complex which helps even the look of redness blotchiness hyperpigmentation dark spots and dullness naturally colored and scented with energizing aromatic from plants so we're going to go ahead and shake that up really really well wow so this has a really like light mist which i really like it looks super fresh that highlighter now melted into the skin so it looks a lot better now What's really throwing me off is how crappy my eyebrows look. You guys, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but in person, it's horrible. So anyways, I'm gonna put on my mascara and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so our makeup is pretty much done at this point. Put my mascara on, I put on my lipstick. The last product in this month's box is from the brand Too Faced. I think this is like the second time Too Faced is in the box. This is the Too Faced Rich and Dazzling Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Crazy Rich. This is what that, the color looks like. And 
this is the little applicator so it does look a lot darker of a pink on camera in person it still looks pink but it has a lot of gold reflex like gold and pink reflex in it so i feel like that kind of balances it all out so we're gonna go ahead and put that right on top of our lipstick you guys can see the color that it made my lip this retails by the way for 21 dollars. you can wear it on its own or on top of your favorite lipstick i just did like a really pretty nude to put this on top i really feel like it did give my lips so much more dimension just now but i don't feel like it messed up the like lip color that i was going for i feel like it works well with the um the eye look that we have and it's very comfortable it doesn't pass the hair test just in case you guys are wondering <laughs> but so if it's windy i wouldn't recommend wearing it because you will get your hair stuck to your lips so yeah this is the finished look just so you guys know too i did get variation number 11 it says it down below right here boxy whimsy is the theme and i totally spelled boxy whimsy incorrect right here so let's just act like that didn't happen oh my gosh i don't know how to spell clearly so for our boxy lux i give this boxy lux a 4.7 out of 5 because I liked every single product except for the eyeshadow palette that had a 4.3 out of 5. Every other product so far I give it a 5 out of 5. Very, very nice. Boxy Premium. Moving along really fast. I got variation 30 which I think is crazy that they have 30 variations. So overall the Boxy Charm Premium box I'm going to give it a total of a 4.5. Five, five just because again dose of colors palette not a big fan you know what no actually i'm gonna go a little lower 4.2 out of five reason why dose of color palette i don't really care for it that much not my favorite ever um just because again doesn't work for my skin tone the ciate the repetition of the highlighter even though i like the highlighter i do wish that i got a different product so really quick, I wanted to note that I did get an email from BoxyCharm stating that they know about the repetition in both of the boxes since I am not supposed to get a repeat item in my premium. And they are supposed to be sending me a surprise item to make up for the Ciate highlighter and told me that I could keep the duplicate one anyways. So my rating goes back up to the 4.55 out of 5. I just wanted to put that in there. I got the email literally the day after I filmed this. So just to let you guys know. And the Agave Lip Therapy um, Mask. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm going to have to try it some more and see if I end up liking it or not. So overall... It was a really good month. I will say that it's not my favorite BoxyCharm um, month ever, but I still do like the products that came in both the Boxy Lux, the Boxy Lux, and the Boxy Premium. And I just think it's crazy. I need to point this out because I think this is like crazy. So within the past two months of having my Boxy like premiums and also with my Boxy Lux, I was able to like compose a whole entire skincare regimen with just those two boxes alone so i just think it's crazy because you're getting these high quality products that are worth so much money and i spent 35 dollars on my premium last month 35 dollars on my premium this month and then the 50 dollars for my boxy lux this month so what's that 120 dollars right so i spent 120 dollars i got a cleanser toner an oil two moisturizers, a lip mask, and an eye cream, and a face roll roller. So seven luxury expensive products for $120. Like my skincare regimen, use Origins as my skincare. My cleanser, moisturizer, and toner alone was $120. Let that sink in. Three products compared to seven products for $120 and those products are worth probably like five, $600. So it's just mind blowing that I got all of these products that work for a whole entire full face of like skincare 
within just two months like it's just crazy and I'm sure that they're going to continue to come out with more products and I'm probably going to stop using some products to use some other products and whatever because I love trying out new products and skincare for me is so big and I feel like BoxyCharm is definitely noticing that a lot of people are more into skincare than they are makeup just because you only have one face you know so take care of it while you can so anyways um overall good month not my favorite month this whole year but it still was a good month. I wasn't super disappointed to end the year with these items. I still think I got my money's worth and more. It's just so crazy. <sighs> I have nothing else to say. So sorry for the super long video. I don't even know how long this video is going to be. It's probably going to be like 45 minutes to be honest. We'll see. I'm going to start editing it. Um, thank you guys for staying until the very end of this video. Let me know if you guys got your boxy charm boxes. You got the base box the luxe box the premium box what was your favorite item what item did you not like i'd love to hear it i love to chat and hope you guys have an awesome holiday and i'll see you guys in the next one until then